Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I have a fun little project to share with you. Um, this week is the Peachy Keen Stamps and Miss Kate Cuttables Co Blog Hop. So, for my project, I decided to create a little mini album. The mini album measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and I have six pocket pages. And what I used was um, this paper that I had in my stash, and I used the Zoo Day title file from, from Miss Kate Kettables, and I also used some of the baby zoo animals, and you'll see those on the inside pages. And for the stamps that I used from Peachy Keen Stamps, I used the face stamps. I used a couple of different ones. I used the PK754 Critter Faces Set, A, medium. And I also use the PK493 Everyday Character Face Parts. So on the front cover, again, I had the Zoo Day title and some buttons, a couple of stick pins. And on the spine, I um, strung some little buttons on some doodlebug twine. And here is the back. And I thought on, I left a label here so you could write the date if you wanted to. So you open it up, and on the inside front cover, I have a little pocket here with some little tags with just um, some of the colors that are in the paper collection. We have a green, a blue, and an orange, and they're plain on the back. So the first little animal I have is the baby bear, and again, I used the cute little stamp set for the face. I added a button here, and inside each of the pockets, I have a double photo mat. So you can put a photo here, and a photo here, as well as a photo here. And on the edges, I used two different corner chumpers. I used the scallop, and I used the ticket stub. So you flip it over, and then on this side, I have just a photo mat here with a little banner and a button. And then I have the cute little baby elephant, and I did do some um, highlighting with my white gel pen, and a little silver glitter pen that I had as well. And I tried to cut most of the little characters at um, three and three quarter inches. And here's the photo mat for this one. All the photo mats are pretty much the same, the four different colors, as well as I added white. And over here again, another little banner with a button and a place for a photo. And I did leave the little banners open so you can go ahead and slide the photo underneath. And I think this one's my favorite. This is a little um, baby tiger here. And again, I used the gel pen to add some of the white highlights and um, my color is a little tongue in. The photo mat here. And again, another tag here with a button. And then this is a little baby giraffe. He was adorable. And again, photo mat. So you can put four photos in each pocket and then you have um, a place for a photo on the back. So each page will hold five photos. And I have six pages. Again, another little banner here with a button. And this is a little baby lion. Again, I colored in with the white gel pen, the whites of the eyes, and added some highlights. I inked around all the edges with walnut stain from Tim Holtz, Distress Ink. And again, um, another little banner with a button, and the little baby zebra, which he's adorable. I colored his little tongue in as well, and some uh, white gel pen for the eyes. And here's the photo map for this one. And you flip it over, and on the last page, again, another photo mat with a little tag here and a button. And then I created another little tag with a large button here and some more twine. And I just adhered it down on the one side and a little bit on the bottom and made a couple little booklets from some of the scraps that I had left over. So you can put a two-by-two two photo on each one of these. So those go back in there. And again, that's the back. So that's my little project using uh, Miss Kate Cuttables and Peachy Keen Stamps. And I also had a few scraps left on my table, so I made a quick little birthday card with the, some of the leftover paper and a little bling here, and then I stamped the inside with Happy Birthday. And again, that's from Peachy Keen Stamps, and that's this cute stamp set called With a Cherry on Top. So this would be really cute with a Miss Kate Cuttables cupcake, and anyway, adorable. So I just had to try it out. So there you go everybody, that's my project for the Block Co Blog Hop, so make sure you leave a comment and uh, follow everybody's blogs because there's some awesome, awesome prizes and you get a free file every day if you comment and follow. There you have it everybody, thanks for watching, bye.